Let's look at dividing 9x cubed plus 35x squared plus 14x plus 72 by 3x plus 12. So when we perform long division of polynomials, we're always going to focus on the first term on the left. In this case, 3x, and also the first term under the division symbol, 9x cubed. Okay, so what we want to ask ourselves is what would you have to multiply 3x by to get 9x cubed? Now, if it's immediately obvious to you what you'd have to multiply by, great. But another way of asking the same question is if I were to divide 9x cubed by 3x, what would that reduce to? That reduces to 3x squared. So that's another way of figuring out that you'd have to multiply 3x squared by 3x to get 9x cubed. Now, I like to line up my degrees of my uh, variables. So what I mean by that is I'm going to write the 3x squared right above the 35x squared. <clears throat> All right, now, the next step is always going to be to multiply the term that you just found times each of the terms in the 3x plus 12 on the outside or whatever the polynomial is on the outside. So let's go ahead and do that. So 3x squared times 3x is going to be 9x cubed. That's the reason why we picked it. Make a different brush here. This one is not quite thick enough. Okay. But we also have to multiply 3x squared by 12, so that's going to give us positive 36x squared. Now let's subtract. Now the first term is always going to cancel out when we do the subtraction, so I like to just cross it off and then move on to the next term. 35 minus 36, or sorry, 35x squared minus 36x squared is going to give us a negative 1x squared, or just negative x squared. Okay, now we need to bring down the next term in our division, which is 14x. But the next question we have to ask ourselves, again, we have to go back to the first term of the 3x plus 12 and the first term of negative x squared plus 14x. What would you have to multiply 3x by to get negative x squared? Hmm, this is a tricky one. You have to multiply 3 by a, a fraction to get it to be smaller, a negative 1. So let's use that trick that we discussed and divide negative x squared by 3x and reduce that. So one of the x's cancels with one of the x's on the top, and we're left with negative 1x over 3, or in other words, negative 1 third times x. So, negative one-third x needs to go up top, right above the other x term. All right, now what do we do with that? Once again, once we find that term, we need to multiply it times each of the terms in the 3x plus 12. So we're going to say negative one-third x times 3x. Well, anything times this reciprocal is 1, in this case negative 1. And x times x is x squared, so we have negative x squared. Negative one-third x times 12. What's a third of 12, or 12 divided by 3? Well, that would be 4, in this case negative 4 x. Now we're going to subtract the whole thing. Be careful here with your signs. Negative x squared minus a minus x squared is the same as negative x squared plus x squared. That's why these still cancel. 14x minus negative 4x is the same as 14x plus 4x. So that's going to give us a positive 18x. Now we're going to bring down the next term, which is positive 72. All right, let's go back to looking at the first term, 3x again. We have to compare 3x to 18x. What do you multiply 3x by to get 18x? 
Well, you're going to have to multiply 3 by 6 to get 18. So we're going to have to multiply 3x by 6. 6 is going to now have to be multiplied times both of the terms, 3x and 12, and distributed, and the solution written underneath what we have so far. So let's do that. 6 times 3x is 18x. 6 times 12 is going to be 72. Now we subtract, and because these are identical, the remainder in this case is 0. So what we just found is that the solution is the polynomial 3x squared minus 1 3x plus 6.